Yara soturu mana karari yara karaka satara mana karari yara karaka satara mana karari yara karaka tiara soturu mana karari yara karaka sata. Ara seata tatara mana niana satara mana niana nana mana nana nakara satara mana karara satara mana karara satara mana karara sata. Yara soturu mana karari yara sata. Thank you, Father God, for today. Thank you, Father God, for today. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to do a, a little follow-up. I went to church yesterday. I made it to church. I finally got prayer. It feels so good. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I felt it again. O satiara soto toro manakarariara satara monka kiara soto. I've um, I've 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 I'm just I don't even know where to begin. Um, today is I don't know what is it. What day is today? The twenty third. Today's nine day nineteen from my surgery. I'm still in a lot of. It's weird. I, I'll be in pain. And then it, it turns into a spirit. And then I asked the pastor, I'm like, why is the pain, like I'll be in pain and the pain turns into a spirit. And she says, because the Lord is teaching me um, and he's taking it away from, um, for me. But, I, I, but he only takes it away when I stay still. Like when I just, when I'm laying in bed or when I'm staying, or when I'm just sitting down when I'm doing nothing, when I'm resting, when I'm healing, when I'm waiting, when I'm in prayer, when I spend time with like, like, you know, um, growing with God, he takes it away. It's, 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 it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The, um, it's almost like an instant medicine. Like if I'm in pain, all I have to do is just sit, sit, sit in my chair, just sit in my chair or start praying, like sit in my chair and just do nothing, just sit. You know, I'll be in a lot of pain, a lot, a lot of pain, like a lot. The pain would be so intense. And then I'll sit, I'll sit. And then, and then the pain just, the Lord will just lift it. He'll just lift it. It's pretty awesome what I've been, what I, what, what the Lord has been, um, what I've been going through. But also, you know, because of what I, but I've been also noticing that there is a, that I, that I, you know, I've been talking about spiritual warfare. I notice right now, you know, I've, I've been dealing with fear, the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear has been um, trying to attack me. And he tries to, he keeps coming in, he keeps trying to come in, he keeps coming in, he keeps trying to come in. The spirit of fear, man. Like, either way, like, he'll do, like, like, you know, right now, you know, like, I had the surgery. I was finally feeling peace. I was finally feeling like, you know, like, like peace, you know, and then like the whole thing with the unemployment happened that I talked about with you guys, you know, last week on Thursday, you know, where I started like, oh my God, how am I going to pay the bills? And all these th things started happening. So then, you know, all these worry things started happening, you know, but at the same time, I started realizing, wow, this is a spiritual battle. I'm so blessed to be able to feel the spiritual world. It's pretty amazing, you know, um, to be able to feel the, the, the spirit world, you know, so, you know, so thank you. I'm, I'm so thankful, you know, so thankful to the Lord, you know, because I, 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 I wouldn't be able to understand if it wasn't for the, for the Holy Spirit and for the fruits of the Holy Spirit, you know, um, 
That's why it's important for me to pray and spend time in prayer. You know, someone told me yesterday that I should journal and I need to start journaling. You know, I need to journal. I just haven't, it's been hard because of the pain, you know, but I do, I need to journal. I do, I, I should journal. Maybe I need to journal on the computer. Oh yeah, maybe I should journal on the computer. You know, I should journal on the computer. Um, someone told me I should journal, um, reminded me, you know, people keep telling me, Iris, you need to journal, you know, journaling is important. Joyce Myers used to journal, you know, yes, I use this as a, with, um, a method of journaling, but it's also important to write things down, you know, because when we write things down, we get things, you know, on a paper and it's different. And I don't know, um, I, I, I just, right now it's been really hard, you know, even reading and writing because of the whole pain and everything that I've been dealing with. It's crazy, you know, the spiritual attacks, you know, but I'm so thankful that the Lord is with me and he never leaves me nor forsakes me, you know. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I'm so thankful that I was able to make it to church. I was able to get filled with the Holy Spirit, you know, they, they, they prayed for me, you know, when they prayed for me, some things lifted, you know, and it feels good, you know, to have the connection that I have, you know, that's why I love to be in prayer, you know, it's, 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 it's important to be in prayer, I just, I keep forgetting and, um, I, I, it's imperative, it's imperative to be in prayer. It's imperative, I cannot emphasize the importance of prayer, like I've been in prayer and, you know, when we start, I start praying in tongues and then I start praying and, you know, I, it's almost like when we, when I start praying in tongues, it starts like, like a veil starts lifting. Like something just starts lifting in the air, like in the atmosphere, like I can feel it, like I can literally feel it, like you guys can see it, you guys can see it, but I can feel it, I can feel it, um, I can feel it in the atmosphere, I can feel things lifting, I can feel it like going like this. You know, when I pray, that's why I pray in tongues. That's why I always pray. That's why I always pray in tongues. Um, you know, especially when I'm going through stuff. You know, um, it brings the presence of the Holy Spirit and then it brings peace. Once I reach peace, I stop. I stop praying. But when I'm in when when I'm not feeling good, I'm in prayer. Like I, I was I was sitting in, in that little couch right there and I was praying in tongues. I was in pain, but I was like, And I was also declaring, greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. And I was repenting, repenting from anger, repenting from unforgiveness. Repenting from the things that I did yesterday, repenting from, from you know, because it's important to repent. It's important. You know, I, I, I it's also important to repent. It's also, you know, and it's also important to decree, to speak against the spirit. I was like, I speak against the spirit of fear. I speak against I speak against unforgiveness. I speak against anger. I speak against that in the name of Jesus. You know, and I can feel like in the spirit, like, you know, it's weird. Like it, I, I can like the, 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 the in, in the spirit feels yucky. Like it, it feels yucky. It's hard to explain how it feels. You know, I still need more prayer. You know, I still need to pray more. You know, I still I know I need to pray more. You know, I, I know I know it's important to pray. You know, um, but I but I also realize that sometimes, you know, like like the enemy throws so many things your way that you get tired. And, and then you also forget and you get distracted. 
you know, and, and then I, and I start getting distracted. I start getting distracted and I'm like, I keep getting distracted. And that's what I told the pastor. I'm like, I started shopping about vanity. I started, I, I was shopping, but everything that's happening, you know, like it's, it's for my own good. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting chastised again. I'm getting pruned. You know, like, I don't need to be buying stuff. I don't need to be shopping. I don't need to be like, you know, I don't, I don't need stuff. I don't need things. I'm good. You know, I, I have what I need. I'm, I'm good. You know, like I, I have exactly what I need. I don't have, I don't need stuff. I don't need stuff. I'm good. You know, I don't, I don't need things. You know, things are just material stuff. Material stuff are not going to get me to heaven. I'm, I'm going to leave material stuff here. And I was buying stuff. I was buying makeup. I was buying makeup. I don't need makeup. Look, I don't even wear makeup. Like, I don't even need makeup. I, and I was over here buying makeup. I was buying stuff that I don't even need. So... It's for my own good. That's the thing, you know, that's the thing that, that, that I realized, like everything that happens to me, it's, it's for my own good, you know, and, 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 if, and, and, and I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. My next chapter is happening now. I'm getting ready for my next chapter, you know, and, and I'm telling you guys, man, when I, when, when I'm in a lot of pain, like, if I stay still, God actually takes it away and it, and it goes, it turns into a spirit. It turns into a spirit. And that's when I, when I, when I felt pain turned into a spirit, that's when I realized like this was a spirit world. And I was like, wow, like God is teaching me like how he, you know, to trust them. You know, he's taking things away. He's taking the weight off. He's taking things off from me. You know, it's it's beautiful. Like I feel, <sighs> the weight off my shoulder is pretty amazing. You know, it's pretty amazing. So I just wanted to do like a little, I wanted to do a little, I wanted to let you guys know, you know, where I'm, where I was at. Yeah, I'll tell myself because this is this is my um, my journaling. You know, they they ask, "Do you journal?" Yeah, this is how I journal. I'm not much of a writer. I don't like writing. I'm lazy. I never. Hey, Monique. How are you, Monique? You know, I've never been much of a writer. You know, right, Monique? Like, I need to start journaling. So pray for me, Monique, please. You know, I need to, I need to, I, they, people tell me I need to journal, you know, but I'm like, I'm lazy. I can get lazy sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I can get lazy and I don't like to, but you know, I, and, and I, I remember I told you guys, I want to read a book. I want to, I want to journal. I want to do so many stuff, but then all these things happen. As soon as I start feeling better, look, 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 you guys are, are witnessing this. I start feeling better. Uh, you know, um, as soon as I start feeling better, as soon as I start feeling better, the whole unemployment thing happens. So another attack. My, through financially, financially, I get attacked where the enemy wants to put worry now, you know, and, and I'm like, or, or, or it could also be a test. This is, or, or the Lord is telling me, oh, no, 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 no. God is telling me, no, 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 my child. That's, that's where you're going wrong. See, you're giving way too much credit to the enemy. Some things just happen because they're meant to happen. Like things happen because they're meant to happen, you know, like you got to learn to trust me. I, you know, the Lord says, I will, I will, I will provide. I will, I will make a way for you. I will make a way. 
I, you gotta put your trust in me. You gotta talk about me. You gotta talk about the greatness of God. You gotta talk about the greatness and the joy of the Lord. You gotta talk about the good of me. You gotta stop talking about the attacks. You gotta stop talking about, oh, you're being attacked. Oh, the enemy's doing this to you. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. You're going about it all wrong. That's why you're going, you're, you're not, you know, you're, 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 you know, no, no, no. He, you know, that's what the Lord just, you know, that's the revelation I just had. He said, you're going about it all wrong. You give credit to God. It happened because God allowed it to happen. It was meant to happen. And God is going to make a way. That's how you say it, period. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you got to start speaking life. You got, you know, like, I got to start speaking life. You know, I got to start speaking, you know, with, with the word. I got to start declaring with God. I got to start, you know, talking with God. I got to start speaking life. I got to start speaking, you know, with, with, with God will say, you know, instead of, oh, the enemy, this, no, uh-uh, he has, no, uh-uh. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. So I was told, you know, we don't give credit to the other one. You know, we, we, create, we give credit to God. Everything that we go through is because of God. And God is going, you know, whatever I'm going through is because God is, hey, Robbie, Robbie. Whatever we're going through is because God did it. Did you hear that, Robbie? I was just sharing with them, you know, that I've been talking about way too much how the enemy this, the enemy that, the enemy this is like, no. We give credit to the enemy too much. We got to stop. We got to say, God allowed this to happen. God did this. God did that. And we got to glorify God. You know, I, 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 ha I haven't been glorifying God. I've been like too busy. Uh, I, ha I have the for me. Uh, 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 you know, like over here, freaking like suffering, you know, like because of talking about all like the problems and about all the issues and about all the circumstances and about all instead of, you know, it's going to be okay, Iris. You know, don't worry. God is okay, you know. But I, this is this is the habits that God is breaking. Remember, I talked about the habits. Remember, guys, I talked about how God is breaking habits from me. These are some of the habits that I have. I worry too much. I'm always I go in here and then I start panicking, and then I start overthinking, and then I can't stop, and then I keep going. And then I stop, and then I keep going and going and going and going and going, and then I don't, and then I, and you know, and it's like I am my worst enemy, and I gotta stop, you know, I gotta stop, like you know, so it's like oh, so the Lord is breaking this, the, the Lord is showing me, Robbie, the Lord is showing me how to slow down, yes, oh really. I just got Joyce. Oh, oh, that's so cool. See? See, you read, Robbie. That's what I'm talking about. You have a habit. You read books. At least you're reading a book. You're doing the right thing. You know, but me, you know, I I, I, I can't, like, the, my mind is like, you know, like, now that I'm like, now, because the, the because I don't know if you know, that if you have seen the videos, Robbie, but the federal unemployment is ending. I depend on the federal unemployment. So worry is starting to settle in where I can, like, just relax. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to pay? You know, and, and it's like, no, it's going to be okay. You know, and what I was saying is that I was saying, I was talking to Monique and I was saying how I, the, I was saying, oh, the enemy is attacking me again through financially instead of saying, no, God is allowing this to happen. 
and God will provide. Exactly, you see, it's gonna be okay. God will provide. It's gonna be okay. But I was over here. Uh, I'm being attacked again. Poor me. Oh, poor me. I'm being attacked. I started going in that mode. You know what I'm talking about, Robbie? Like that that mode. That oh. The enemy, you know, I'm being attacked, you know, like that, that added instead of no, you know, the, the, it, it's, 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 it's happening because it's meant, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. I've been in worst situations. Robbie, you know, I don't even have to worry about rent right now. My only worry right now is the card payment. I have to worry, you know, card payment, card payment, you know, there's stuff, you know, but the Lord will provide. And if I have to, I will go back to work. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm better now. I had surgery. The miracle is that the Lord provided this whole time that I was sick. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see how this whole time that I was sick, the Lord provided, and now that I, that 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 I'm better? Like it's almost like your break is over, girly. My break is over. You guys, do you guys see what's happening here? Do you guys see what's happening? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> like, or is it just me that is seeing this? Because like the Lord literally provided for me like the whole time because I've been sick for a whole year. I couldn't work. I was sick. Remember, I couldn't even walk. I was in so much pain. I couldn't even cook. I was miserable. I had surgery. I just had surgery literally 19 days ago. And then I'm now I'm finally recovering. And then I'm like, wow. And then the Lord provided this whole time. Like, wow. Do you guys see that? Or is it just me that is seeing this? Or am I the only one who's seeing this? Because I'm totally seeing something here. Like, I, I, I'm like, my eyes are like totally opening up. Like, I'm like, wow, Lord, you totally take care of me. Like, he totally takes care of me, guys. Do you see what I'm seeing, Robbie? Do you totally see it? Like, my eyes are like, wow, like, like, like to the thought, Robbie, just to the, I'm telling you, Robbie, I was feeling good that day that I was finally saying, the day that I was saying the torment is over, the torment is over. Oh, I'm, it's finally done. I'm finally feeling better. Yay! Hey, I'm. It's finally yay. No more pain. Boom. The unemployment thing happens. I swear. I swear. I swear. It happened like that. It happened the same day. The same day. I swear. I was like, wow. But to me, it's a test. It's a test. I'm being tested. I am being tested. I am being molded. I am being pruned. I am being created. I am being modified and I'm being uh, I am being created I'm per, I'm being created a child of Jesus right now. He's creating me right now. Can you guys see that? He's teaching me to trust them. You know because if it, I could I could easily take it the other way and be like, "Oh my god. What am I going to do?" And start panicking. You know, because it started, I started to panic because I'm telling you guys like that, the, the lies start coming in where I start like hearing like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I have to start declare like right away. I hold in a negative thought captive and I bring them to the obedience of Christ Jesus. I hold in a negative thought captive and I bring them to the obedience of Christ Jesus. I hold in a negative thought captive and I bring them to the obedience of Christ Jesus. And I have to keep declaring that because if not, it will, I will, I, I, it, it goes in here. You know, and, and that's why I went to church yesterday because I need a prayer. And I'm like, I need prayer. I need to get filled with all. I need to get, I need prayer, you know, because I need it, you know, it's in, and, and yeah, that's why I went to church. You know, I know a lot of people dismiss church. 
you know but 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 i i the 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 fellowship you know like you know when someone else prays for you man the feeling you know like what i feel you know what i feel you know like you know i don't go i i don't go for the people i'm gonna tell you guys the truth i don't go for the people I don't go for the people at the church. I'm going to be straight up. I've been I've been judged, I've been criticized, I've been hurt. A lot of things have happened to me at church. But I don't go for the people. I go because I want to feel I go because I I am chasing the presence of God. I have learned to forgive the people that have hurt me and not not think about that. And when I see them, I don't even think about it. But I'm, I swear to you guys, I have been told that I, I carry Satan. Hi, Misty. I've been told at church, you have Satan. I've been told so many things, but I still go to church. Because I don't go to church for the people. I don't go to church for the people. I'm going to tell you guys. Because that's, you know, I go to church for the, for for God. To feel the presence of the Holy Spirit for the fellowship. You know, and I, and I feel like a lot of us have been hurt, you know, by, by one way or another by church. You know, um, but I think it's important for us to forgive. You know to move past it you know and 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 move past it and 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 still seek the presence of god because i'm telling you guys man oh my god lufa lufa's here lufa hi lufa you know i'm telling you guys i've been hurt i've been hurt by church by a lot of churches i've been judged i'm still judged you know but i have learned you know that when i go to church i don't go for the people you know i don't go for the people i don't go for the people i i, I go for 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 the for the presence of of the holy spirit you know because unfortunately, you know, I have learned that people are human and they're going to leave, let us down, you know? So, and when they pray for me, man, I can feel the holy, the, 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 I can, I get filled. I start shaking, you know? I start shaking. I feel the Holy Ghost when people pray for me, you know? And, and I know that, that we all have been hurt by people at church one way or another, you know, we got to learn to forgive, right? It's important to forgive just because if we want God to forgive us. We got to forgive, you know? So I forgive everyone who hurt me at church and because I've been hurt by church. I've been hurt by church. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm speaking from my, my personal experience. I'm speaking right now and I'm saying out loud that I forgive anyone who's hurt me at church. I forgive them and I pray and I bless them. And anyone who's judged me, I bless them and I speak good. I love you too, Lufa, Miss T. You know, you know, I forgive them, you know, and, and, and I bless them and I and I hope God can work on them, you know? And I let them go. Remember, and I forgive them for, for myself. I don't do it for me. You know, and remember and, and, and I know that what they did, and I'm and I'm and, and what I'm saying, and, and what I'm saying, and, and, and just because I choose to forgive, it doesn't mean that it was right what they did. I'm not saying that their behavior was okay. I'm saying that it's important for me to forgive for me. I'm doing it for me because I'm tired of carrying unforgiveness against anyone. I'm choosing to forgive them. 
you know, like um, I'm not saying that they're, they're, that what they did was OK. I'm not saying that what anyone did is OK. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I'm choosing to forgive. I'm choosing just to forgive. And I'm, and I'm not going to speak bad about anyone in church anymore, you know, because um, they're my brothers and my sisters. And I love when they pray for me, you know, and we all we're all we, like you said, Lufa, we're all work in progress. We all need work. So we all need work and I'm just going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go and, and give him to the Lord and, and pray for them and, and, and bless them in Jesus name, you know, and, and focus on the goodness of God. I'm going to, I'm going to speak good <laughs> instead of being mad, you know, and holding to resentment and get mad and, and, and get all angry and, 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 and you know, hold on to the bad of the past. You know, I don't, I don't want to hold on to the past anymore. You know, a lot of things happen. Yes. And I've been hurt. I'm telling you guys, man, I've been hurt. A lot of, I've been hurt, man. Ah, let's all do Yeah, let's do it. Ah. You know, it's a good, yeah, it would be a good, we can start a ministry here, Lufa. This is already a ministry, you know. You know, this is a ministry, you know, this is a Jesus Christ ministry. You know, and I'm choosing to let go of any unresentment, any unforgiveness, and I'm choosing to speak life. You know, I love everyone and I want to speak positivity. And thank you. I'm, I am so glad you're here, Luf. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, it's, I haven't seen you in a while. You know? But, you know, um, I feel good. You know, it's, 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 man, I, this stitch is, I'm telling you guys, it goes from like pain to spirit. It's pretty amazing. And then I've been, and, and, and I feel so tired. I think it's gonna take God to give me my energy again. But I, but I also feel like, but when when we all like with you guys' strength, Amen. Exactly. See, because I can feel, I can feel you guys' energy right now. Like I can feel your excitement, Lufa. I can feel your spirit. Believe it or not, you know, I can feel your excitement. You know. Um, Remember the Holy Spirit. Oh, really? You do? Well, I'm going to start praying for you right now in the name of Jesus. We'll pray for Lufa. We pray for Lufa. But yeah, it's been hard, you know, it's, 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 I understand Lufa. I, sometimes I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave sometimes, but you know, I don't want to leave because I'm, I'm in pain, right? but I actually don't like being home. I can't stand. I I miss being home. I, I miss I miss walking. Remember, we, we, we're supposed to go hiking, Lufa. Amen. I will pray for you. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Lufa. I lift up Lufa to you right now, Father Gari Ara Karakasati Ara Soto Toro Manakarari Ara Karakasati Ara Soto Toro Manakarari Ara Karakasati Ara Soto Toro Manakarari Ara Karakasata. Holy Spirit, I ask you to go to her home right now, Father Gari Ara Karakasati Ara Soto Kori Ara Karakasata Karakuru Manakara Karakara Karakasata. You said when two or more are gathered, you are present, Father Gari Ara Karakasata Ramona Karari Ara Karakasata Ramona Karari Ara Karakasata Munkaka Kikara Karakasoto Romana Karari Ara Karakasata. 
I speak to that spirit of fear right now. That is tormenting her right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to you right now. I speak to you right now. Mararia ra soto ro mana kararia ra karakasata ra mona kararia ra sata ra mona kararia ra karakasata. Get away from her right now in the name of Jesus. Get away from her right now in the name of Jesus. Oro mana kararia ra karakasata ro 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 mana kararia ra sata ra mona kararia ra soto. You look at me right now, spirit of fear. Oro mana kararia ra sata. You get away from her right now in the name of Jesus. You leave her alone right now in the name of Jesus. The power of, of God is upon her right now in the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is with her. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. There we go. She has the Holy Spirit. She has the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is working with her right now. You can feel the Holy Spirit. That's what you're feeling. Yara soto romana kararia ra sata ra mona kararia ra sata ra ria ra karaka sata ra mona kararia ra karaka sata. Say I rebuke that spirit of fear, Lufa. Say I rebuke you, spirit of fear. Speak against it, Lufa. Say I don't want it. I speak against it. I speak against you. You're not wanted here. You're not wanted. You're not wanted here. You're not wanted here, fear, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're not wanted here in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it that you're free. That you're free. That you're free. Remember, imagine yourself hiking. You like to go hiking, Lufa. You like to go hiking. You like to be out on the street. You like to do things. You don't like to be in your house. You like to do things. That's fear. Don't let fear, amen, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, amen, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, rebuke it, speak against it, don't receive it. Yeah, you, you have to just say, I rebuke it, I, 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 don't, I, I don't, I speak against it, I speak against it, I rebuke it, I don't want it, you're not wanted here, I don't, re I speak against you, fear, you're a liar, you're not part of me, you're a liar, you're a liar, fear, you're a liar, poor health, you're, you're a liar, no, Satan, you're under my foot. Get away from me with your lies with of poor health, with your lies of fear. Get away from me. Get out, out of my house in the name of Jesus. You know, and, and get in, remember, and get in the word. Get in the word. I get in the word. You know, use the word of God. You know, when you when you use like Revelations 12, 11 says that I am saved by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony, you know, and then say, and then I hold any negative thoughts captive and I bring them to the obedience of Christ Jesus. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world, you know, and, you know, just start, just start declaring the word of God in your life. And oh my God, girl, you're going to be invincible. You're going to be invincible. I have to do this. I'm talking to myself, too. I have to start getting in the word. <laughs> like, I have to get in the word, <laughs> you know, and, and then I'm going to be invincible. You know, I'm going to be, in, you know, I, we, let's both do this. Let's do it together. Let's get it. Let's, 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 let's make a commitment that we're going to read the word more, you know, because with the word, that's your, that's our foundation. Like, we're strong. We believe. We have faith. But if we don't know. How to defeat the enemy with the word? You know, we 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 don't. Have, that's the foundation. 
you know that's the that's that's the bone you know that's that's the backbone you know that's the backbone that we that's the backbone the bible you know the bible that's the backbone and that's what we need i'm i'm talking to myself too lufa i'm not just talking to you i need it i need it i'm talking to me too lufa i'm not just talking to you i'm talking to me too both of us you know i'm talking to me too you know like not just you you know i'm talking to me you know like like I need to be more in the word, you know, like the word of God today was, um, today the, the verse was, um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions, Proverbs 1, 7, you know, so, and, and I'm telling you, you know, if, if, and, and if, if, if we don't, if we don't, if, if we declare healing, you know, and 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 prayer, and and and, and, and if you use the word, you're gonna be invincible. You're gonna be invincible. You know, God, you know, because the word is what makes you. It what makes you you, what gives you wisdom. You know, when, you know what makes you smart. You know, like what makes you what what gives you the wisdom. You know, when what gives you the the. Thank you, thank you, Lufa. So I because I'm a, right now I'm still learning too, Lufa. I'm still learning. So I'm still learning. I'm still learning and 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 you know I'm still learning and, and it's been, you know, it's been it's been it's been every day is it's um every day is a battle because I'm I'm stubborn too. I don't want to. I don't want to journal. I don't want to journal. <laughs> but people tell me you have to journal, and I'm like, I don't want to journal, you know. And 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 then also, I fear comes in, you know. Like I I was sharing. I don't know if you know Lufa, but but unemployment, you know, my my source of income is it's it's ending. So you know, like I have to, you know, that the Lord is you know is. The next step in my life is about to to start, so I have to trust God and not not let fear come in, but I have to allow God to move my next life, but do it in a way without fear, but I but 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 actually also move without being all panicking, you know. So it's about my next chapter in life. Hi, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on, on that too. I haven't heard anything on that either, Lufa. That's the thing. You know, that takes forever. That takes forever. That takes forever. So, I don't know. You know? So, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm still waiting. Hi, Vicky. You know? The other one takes forever, you know. I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm like, oh my god, what's you know? So I started panicking at first. I was like, oh my, but then I have to trust. But that's the beauty. That's the beauty of having the discernment, you know, that the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm talking about. You know, it takes forever. It takes years. You know, it takes years, and and and. In the meantime, you know, I have a car payment. I have um. I have things that need to be taken care of. So we'll see. We'll see what the Lord has. I'm not worried. I'm going to, well, I say I'm not worried, but there's a spirit that tries to come in, you know, and, and, and you know, I get no income, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I might have to go back to work. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that because I'm, I'm, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just like, I'm just like, you know, so yeah, so you guys understand, you know, I really, I would really, yeah, yeah, you guys understand what I'm talking about, you know, it's going to be one of those where, and, and then the fear tries to come in and I'm just like, uh. Oh really? See, so but 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 maybe see that's what 
Yeah, September 4th, it runs out. Yeah, on September 4th. So, but you know, if I feel better, you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows, Lufa? Who knows? You know that the pain is gone. You know, who knows? I'm, I'm healing. You know, mentally, I'm feeling a little bit better. Who knows? I might, I might have to go back. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. You know. But in the meantime, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress. You know, I still have a couple of months. I think so. I don't even remember if I have a PayPal. <laughs> I don't even remember. I know I have one, but I don't remember. I don't remember the the how the link or anything. I'm not much of a technology kind of person right now. I'm 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 very out of out of touch. I have to get back on this. You know what I mean? But 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 I'll give it to you. Um, I'll I'll send you the link. I'll look it up. Um, but thank you, Lufa. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, it's been, you know, it's been an interesting, you know, it's been interesting. Um, I'm just like, we'll see what happens, you know, like I'm, I'm not going to worry. The Lord will provide. And in the meantime, if I have to, you know, I'll freaking, I'll, I'll, I'll cook pozole and I'll sell it in the corner. <laughs> hey, Lufa, I'll sell pozole in the corner or some tamales <laughs> or tacos. I'll sell tacos in the corner <laughs> or tamales or pozole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I was do it. I was gonna do it. You guys wanna see? You guys wanna see what I was gonna do? I was gonna do it. Watch. Watch. I'll show you. I'll show you what I was gonna do. Watch. I was gonna do it. I'll show you what I was gonna do when I lost my job. Watch. I'll show you. I had a uh, I had the little containers and everything. I had the containers and everything. I I I I I got them in I had them in little containers and everything, but I got sick. Then I got sick. You know, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I got sick. Um remember I couldn't I remember I couldn't walk. Remember you might you the videos? I couldn't do it. I tried to do that. That was my my plan. After I lost my job, you know, I I I I that was gonna be my backup plan. You know, real quick to get to to make some money so that I can so that I can so that I can uh, so that I can you know pay my bills. I was gonna start selling, but then I started having a lot of pain and I couldn't do it. Exactly. Exactly. You know it. You know it. We're Mexicans. We're Mexicans, right? We're Mexicans. We are raised to do whatever we can to pay the bills, you know? So I was I was gonna sell, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna sell because I make my pozole is awesome. Like everybody loves my pozole. Like my pozole is pretty good, you know, like so I had the pozole with the little 
with the little cilantro and with the little containers and everything. You know, I have everything already. You know, I, 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 I did one trial and, you know, I didn't really sell that many. So I ended up giving them to the homeless people. And, and I only did it once. And then I got, t and that's why I have my canopy out there, you know, um, but we're, we'll do whatever we can to pay the bills, you know, if I start feeling better and if I have to pay bills, I'll do whatever I can. You know, you do whatever you can to pay those bills, but I don't have that many bills right now. You know, right now I don't have that many bills. So we'll see. I have a couple of months to wait. And like, you know, at the same time, if I can, I'll start looking for work too. Some case management jobs. You know, there's some temp agencies too. You know, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see, you know. I'm praying, I'm praying what to do next, you know, because I also don't want to hurt my back, you know, carrying heavy stuff because that was always heavy, you know, and, 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 and I don't want to hurt, you know. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to hurt my back. So that's why I've been praying. And I'm like, yeah, and, and, that, and I still have to wait six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. That's the, the recovery time. So I have to wait six to eight weeks. And then I'll... Um, so I still have I still have two months to figure out what's gonna happen next. That's why I was panicking because I'm in so much pain. I can't even figure out what to do next. And I'm like, oh my, you know, do you guys see what I'm talking? Do you see what I'm talking about, Lufa? You see what I'm talking about? Like, you know, you start like 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 you know, you start like feeling anxiety. That's when anxiety starts like settling in because you're like, oh my God, like, like I can't work because I'm in pain, you know? So stuff like that. So it's just been, and then I'm under an, an excruciating pain, you know? I've been under excruciating pain too, so. But the beautiful thing. I was denied. I was denied. I was denied Social Security. I applied for Social Security, but then they denied me. I went to, to, to um, you know, um, I applied for SSI, you know, because when I had that mental breakdown and I couldn't work, you know, then they denied me. Then I went to see the doctors. I already went through all that. And then I had to go through an appeal process. So that, that's another thing I'm waiting on that. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. You know, there's, there's so much like lengthy process. Everything takes three years, like 20 years, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. You know, they, they deny and deny and deny and deny. Like, it's like, oh. And that's why people give up and they just go back to work. It makes you, it, it, it makes you want to, to me, it just makes me want to go back to work. Like, like, it's sad. It's so sad that the government doesn't give a shit, excuse my language, when people are sick and people get so tired of waiting and they just go back to work even if they're sick. Right, Lufa? Isn't that sad? Like, what the heck, man? Like, man, it's, but some people also take advantage of it. That's the sad part, too. You know, I used to work, you know, like um, for cash aid and, you know, and approve people, then, you know, people will prefer to be in drugs than work. And it's, 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 it's a catch 22, man. 
some people take advantage of the government and they will lie to get benefits and some people that really need it like i do are getting screwed because the people that are, are lying to get the benefits are screwing people that need it really and that's what i'm saying you know like like it makes you tired like it's like it makes you just like give like no i just like i'm just gonna go back to work rather than waiting like you know like it's sad you know that the that that you that that we have to go through all that you know especially when they see they see that there's records there's records there's medical records you know that that i've been sick you know that like i was in the mental hospital three times you know like and still nothing like i've the people they they think you make it all up you know you know it's all sad so I'm just gonna wait and the Lord will provide if it's meant to be it's meant to be if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be you know it's fine I'm not worried about it you know I'm still young really Wow. So that's what they do, huh? So they do it on purpose. So they 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 all like freaking force you. And, and I know, and that's what they do every time they call and every time they interview. And then they make you, it's almost, and then they make you feel guilty too. You haven't worked since you last applied? No, I haven't worked. That's why I applied for SSI. Well, why haven't you worked? Have you read the file? I've been having spiritual warfare. I've been fighting spirits. I've been dealing with the devil. Like I had to tell them all this stuff. You know, like. Like. And they didn't get it. Until. And then and, and, like. It's weird. And then at the same time, you know, like, 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 I guess because when people speak about spirits, they think you're like a drug addict or something. I don't know. But I've never done drugs. I mean, not the kind of drugs that people usually do to speak about spirits, you know? So... That's that's awesome, Lufa. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. That's a blessing. See, that's a blessing. That's being you're you're getting blessed. But you know, we'll just, I just, I'll just trust in the Lord. You know, I'm trusting the Lord and. Oh, well, thank you, Lufa. Thank you. You know, I'm trusting the Lord and and I'm going to keep praying. You know, I'm going to keep praying and I'm going to keep trusting and I'm going to keep praying and I'm going to keep, you know, stay, and, and staying strong and, you know, keep trusting. You know, because it's hard, you know. To be thinking and worried and stuff. That's good, Lufa. You are blessed by Jesus. So. Well, yeah, but, but hey, but you got blessed anyway, right? So it don't matter. You got blessed. You know? You got blessed. 
So I don't want to stop work. I don't want to work. I, I actually don't want to stop working either. I, I don't want to stop working. But I actually want to preach. That's the thing, though. I want to become a preacher. I want my job, my full-time job, to be a preacher. I want to be. I want my job to be a full full ministry. I, I want. I want to have a full-time ministry job. Like I want to have a full-time ministry. So, I'm trying to figure out how. Um, I don't know. I love. I love God. I love talking about God. I love worship. I love talking about Jesus. I love, you know, and I, I love working. I love working, but now I love working for God. So that's why I'm, I'm not fighting it. Like when I stopped working, I was like, yeah, we should, huh? I'm going to pray about this, you know, um, I want to start a ministry. You know, this is a ministry, you know. We're all a ministry. That's what that's what I do this. That's why I do Bible studies. I don't know where Robbie went. I think he went, he 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 always hops in and out. He he hops in and out. <laughs> um but you know, someday I would God would bless me with the ministry, you know. I would I would love to do ministry. You know, that's why I have to be obedient. Oh. I'm sorry about I'm sorry, uh, Viviki. It's hard, I know. Me, I, because I, I have mental breakdowns. Like, I had a mental breakdown, and I couldn't control myself, so I lost my job, and, you know, I just couldn't control my emotions. <laughs> and I don't have to say anything, you know. Yeah, exactly. Mexicans are, they are prideful. Mexicans got to get their pride from working hard, you know, it's true, you know, we are Mexicans, you know, and we fall into depression when we don't work, and that's what happened to me, oh my God, the same thing happened to me, Lufa, you're, 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 we have so much in common, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. I work for the for the state too. I, I work for the for the county, I work for the state, I work for the federal government, I work for everything. So but anyway guys, I think I'm gonna get going. I've been here for an hour and I'm already I'm starting to get uh, hurt. It's starting to hurt here. My um what do you call this? My wound, my itch, my stitches are starting to hurt. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, wow. Look at Navy vet. So I will talk to you guys maybe later or some other time. I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm feeling. I wanted to talk to you guys about how the Holy Spirit has been helping me. I love you, Lufa. I pray that you're feeling better. Remember, Lufa, you like to go hiking and you like to get out, you know? So don't let the, don't let fear keep you indoors. Don't let fear, don't let fear keep you, keep you, keep you, um, keep you home, Lufa. Remember, you're, you're, you're a strong Mexican woman. You can, don't don't let fear beat you down. Now use that pride and be like, mm, I'm not gonna let fear beat me down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna overcome all oh, pride. I'm I'm gonna overcome fear, and I'm gonna go hiking, or I'm gonna go walking. I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm not gonna stay home. You know, and don't let fear beat you, man. Don't do that. Okay, I love you.
and I'm praying for you. So, Father God, I pray for anyone right now watching in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for anyone right now who's struggling with fear or anyone struggling with depression, with anxiety, with pain, anyone who needs help, Father God, I pray for them right now, Father God. I pray for them, Father God, and I pray for the Holy Spirit to be with them, Father God. I pray for them to be with them today, Father God. I pray for their families, Father God. I pray for, for the, any issues that they're dealing with, Father God. If there's any money issues, Father God. If there's any financial issues, Father God. If there's any health issues, Father God. If there's any... Uh, any 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 issues father god you help them father god in 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 jesus mighty name amen all right guys i will talk to you guys later take care bye